Greetings everyone and welcome to WCOS Internet Radio. I'm the Chancellor Soul Mike Boone and you're tuning in to Soul Facts, a show highlighting the history of legendary artists and their music. In this edition, we look behind the scenes of one of the greatest female background vocalists whose musical contribution helped create the genesis of the most celebrated record company in the world. The label, Motown Records. The group, The Andantes. The foundation of Motown is best described as a group of associated talented artists, musicians, writers, producers, arrangers, and engineers. Although the construction process was conceived by its forerunners, we must truly honor those uncredited associates who would add the finishing touches to cement its musical solidarity. The Andantes did just that. Jackie Hicks, Marlene Barlow, and first Andante, Emily Phillips, all hail from Detroit, Michigan. They first sang together at Harpers Baptist Church, each being 12 years of age. Their pianist and inspiration, Mildred Doby, united the girls, the Andantes, because just like their voices, it meant soft and sweet. In 1959, future Andante Levain Demps, born in New York and raised in Detroit, attended the Raber Music Writing Company, founded by songwriter Barry Gordy Jr. and his then wife, Ramona Lyles, seeking fresh new talent. After Demps auditioned the song composed by a friend of hers, the staff was very impressed by her soprano vocals. She then became a member of Ramona Gordy's Raber Voices, who sang background to most of the artists Barry Gordy composed for. In 1960, legendary songwriter-pianist Richard Popcorn Wiley, who attended Northwestern High School with two of the Andantes, Jackie and Marlene, brought the girls to Motown Records because he needed background vocals and hand claps for his scheduled session. When things didn't work out for Wiley at the label, the company wanted the girls to stay, although they were not interested. Afterwards, Member Emily Phillips got married, and her husband did not want her to sing anymore. Still not interested, they were looking for any means to get out. Their excuse was they were down to two members and needed a third party to complete the set. So the label hooked them up with soprano rainbow voice singer Levain Demps, and the trio was born. The Andantes were on call 24-7 because their sound represented the artists. Their angelic voices were lent to so many great classics such as One of the earliest vocals of the Raber singers Come On By The Distance, The Future Temptations Money by Barrett Strong Mary Wells' classic 1964 hit, My God. Oh, Marvin Gaye, how sweet it is to be loved by you. Four Tops, Baby, I Need Your Lover. Just, just Ask the Lonely. Like the need in a guy to see Another Temptation classic, It's Growing. It's growing. I Can't Help Myself.
Little darling, I need you. Ain't that peculiar? Edwin Starr's classic 1965 hit, Agent 00 Soul. Another classic by Edwin Starr, Stop Her On Sight. Love you forever, the holidays. You're unchanging love. Jackie Wilson's 1967 classic, Higher and Higher. This other classic, I get the sweetest feeling. I heard it through the grapevine. And even the Supreme Love Child. Too busy thinking about my baby. That's the way love is. And Marvin Gaye's classic 1971 classic from the album, What's Going On, Save the Children. The Andantes lent their voices on a total of 20,000 recordings and were paid $5 for each session. So the stakes rose to $7 a few years later. Not making enough money and to continue to make a living, the Andantes began moonlighted sessions with other artists from other labels, such as Laura Lee and Edwin Starr on Rick Tick Records, Jackie Wilson on Brunswick Records, The Dells on VJ, and Bobby Blue Bland on Duke. Not wanting to lose the Motown signature background sound, Barry Gordy reluctantly let the Andantes record their own song composed by Holland Dozier and Holland called Like a Nightmare on VIP, Motown's subsidiary label in 1964. For lack of promotion and a few copies pressed, and Barry really didn't want to lose the girls, the song went nowhere. The end of the era came when Motown officially moved their operations on the West Coast in California in 1972, leaving behind a majority of Motown East Coast artists and musicians, including the Andantes. A year later, Andante member Levain Demps will relocate in Atlanta, Georgia in 1973. Years later, they got together and recorded for Ian e. Levin's Motor City label in the late 80s. The Andante's great musical contribution played a major role in the legacy of Motown, 
R&B, and pop music alike. Adding the ingredients of their beautiful angelic voices just sweeten the ears of listeners from all diversional backgrounds throughout the four corners of the world. Let's just be thankful that the music outlives the man. In this case, outlives the ladies. I'm the Chancellor Soul. Soul Facts, a show created, written, produced, and copywritten by Mike Boone, the Chancellor of Soul.